Hello guys, Kevin's here, State and Code Track Insurance. In this video, we'll talk about how to save on your existing truck insurance policy without even switching to a new carrier. And this particular video is applicable to new ventures or experienced owner operators. It doesn't matter if you've been in business only four months versus four years. So first things first, make sure you know who are the drivers on the policy. And when I say that, um, you know, after you keep making changes to your policy through the year, a lot of times truckers just forget to remove the drivers from the policy. Um, you know, if you're adding owner operators through the year, and then you know at some point you remove their truck, but you forgot to remove the driver, the fact that the driver is still on the policy could keep and and push your price higher without even you realizing that. So you know, audit the policy and double check to, to be, you know, certain that the driver that's no longer with the company is no longer on the policy. And the second thing when it comes to the drivers, make sure that uh, you know what's on their driving record. Um, before you hire somebody, of course, you want to pull their MBRs and um, any violations or at fault accidents in the past three years would have a negative effect. Um, some accidents, at fault accidents, if those are more on the comprehensive side where, you know, somebody hit a light pole or a deer, deer while driving, um, those can be disputed. And uh, you can dispute that by providing a letter from the insurance company to where it just states that the driver was not liable or if there was an actual accident and the report clearly shows that, you know, somebody else just rear-ended your driver, that could also be used to dispute and remove that accident from um, from the driver's record. Therefore, your insurance premium will go down. The second important factor to know, you know, on your existing insurance policy is the, the trucks and, and the trailers and their values. Again, similar to drivers, uh, if you keep making changes through the year, and just forget to remove particular equipment because um, you know and i'm seeing this time after time where a certain owner operator is no longer with the company but you know the owner just simply forgot to tell the insurance company that john smith and his 2015 freightliner is no longer operating under his authority and that of course is you know just going to keep your premium higher. So audit your policy, double check on drivers and units. Um, and when it comes to power units, the values are also important. Um, you know, in the past 12 months, the value's gone up. Now the used truck price is trickling down a little bit. So perhaps it's a good time to adjust those values. And, uh, you know, the Freightliner that you had valued at 50,000, maybe it's now worth 40,000. So again, just make sure that the stated value for the trucks and trailers is kind of accurate and in line with the market. Number three thing is um, the coverages that you do not need anymore. Again, through the year, you probably made multiple changes, added, you know, 1 million, 2 million aggregate general liability or a trailer interchange. And this is typical for the truckers that try to run for Amazon Relay program because uh, they require that general liability and trailer interchange. Even if you have your own trailer, they'll request those coverages. But if you no longer run for Amazon, um, you can actually remove those coverages and they'll um, give you some savings in those monthly insurance payments. Number four is the garaging address. Again, the insurance price is state specific, but even within your home state, let's say you're based in Tennessee, and um, in the last you know, 30 days, you change your parking and garaging address, make sure to update your insurance company and let them know that um, now you're parking at a different location. They will need address, you know, full address. And in some cases, they'll need proof to validate that. So just be prepared to provide either an invoice or a rental agreement, or if your friend's just allowing you to park in their uh, property, Again, just a letter from the friend stating that, um, you know, John Smith and his 2015 Freightliner is parked at this address. Because again, that address and, you know, be prepared because in some cases it can make the insurance a little bit higher. So always double check and, and, and make sure before you make 
that uh, garaging address change that, hey, how it's going to impact your insurance premiums. And I've seen where even within the same, you know, metropolitan area, um, you know, within the, you know, same city, the price differentiator can be, you know, a couple hundred dollars, three, four hundred dollars per year. I mean, I'm sorry, per month in those monthly payments. Um, the last thing, number five, make sure that the business category and the cargo commodities that you're delivering are reflected correctly. So, <clears throat> for example, you started as a car hauler slash general freight, not sure if you're going to do both or one. And then somewhere six months later on, you just completely switch to general freight. First of all, you need to update your MCS 150 and remove um, auto hauling as a commodity and then call your insurance agent and just let them know that, hey, I'm no longer car hauler slash general freight. I'm just general freight now because, you know, car hauling, for example, is a more expensive business category. So by simply uh, changing from, you know, car hauling to just general freight, you will see a couple and in some cases three, four hundred dollars per month in savings. And the same thing with, you know, if you did, um, let's say, reefer, you know, reefer is a more expensive subcategory so if you now just purely dry van general freight uh, please you know please update your insurance let your agent know that hey those are the commodities that i'm hauling now you know it's different from when i started the policy six months ago and you will see some immediate savings and that's all i have for today so please stay tuned do not forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time bye